I'd like the whole community to see and the public at large that uh, it touches everybody, not just Aboriginal, an Aboriginal community. Today my community is filing an access to information request to find out how the RCMP and CSS have been spying on us since the Platnik's dispute. Also, we are encouraging all First Nations to file similar requests and make them public. In 2006, my community said no to a mining company called Blacknix. We were also sued for $10 billion. After a long court battle that almost bankrupted my community, my leadership was found in contempt of court. I was jailed for 68 days with other five community leaders, that's chief and council, uh, which were known as KI-6. The harsh jail sentence made our struggle a national and international story about a remote First Nation community, fighting for our right to say no to a mining company. While all this was going on, the RCMP were spying on our community, not for my security, not for First Nation security, but for the security of the mining company called Platnix. Platnix also hired their own foreign security personnel with weapons. Journalists filed access to information requests and told me that the RCMP secretly, and with the help of the Federal Indian Affairs, had been tracking KI from the minute we publicly said no to Platnix and to begin asserting our inherent and treaty rights on the land. Bill C-51 will give RCMP and CSIS even more powers to share information with federal and affairs, the Ontario government, OPP, mining companies, and to spy on our First Nations communities. The RCMP are the new electronic Indian agents watching our every move, reading our emails, listening to our phone calls, and monitoring this forum. First Nations have the right to assert our rights without fear of being spied on or intimidated by government. Thank you very much.